All right, welcome to the first Descendants. If you did not know, the open beta, the final open beta before release date, which we don't even know when the game is actually dropping, is out right now. So if you did want to get your hands on the game, this is your final chance before when we don't even know when the game will be released. Now, the live beta has been live today, which is the 25th of May, Saturday, and it's actually going to end Monday morning, the 27th. So you're about two days. Well, right now that I upload this video, you have about a day and a half left. Now, if you want to go ahead and play the game, you can only play this game on Steam at the moment. So all you have to do is go over to Steam and search up the first Descendants. Now, obviously, this game has had a lot of hype lately. So many of you guys probably did not know we have a final beta. But yeah, it is live right now. Now, what is this game? It's basically a looter shooter, a brand new Warframe, if you want to put it that way. Now, as you can see, I'm in the game right now. This is what it looks like. And you guys have seen gameplay in the background right now. Um, there's many different characters to choose from. I'll show you that right now. So this is my descendant right now called a bunny, the speedster. She's all about electricity and speed. Now there's many, many different descendants here that you can choose from in the beta it's, uh, itself. You have one, you have many of them. I think about 11 to play through right now. These gold ones are basically like the, um, the ultimate version of the descendants you can go ahead and play. Um, so you have a lot of different play styles here to choose from and even better than that you actually pretty much get the entirety of the game uh for free at the moment uh, more or less anyway you get the battle pass for free if you want to go ahead and do the battle pass you get all the ascendants and basically the entire shop for free and uh yeah there's a lot of skins to go ahead and choose from like made outfits <laughs> which is um kind of funny actually but yeah you can go ahead and try them out and also in the open world as well if i show you quickly on the map you have Albion, you have Kingston, and you also have these sterile lands. Now, what is inside here? Basically, a bunch of stuff. You have the main story missions. You also have different side missions as well, like the Void missions, which is basically um, a mission to do to unlock an even higher tier mission, okay? Um, these require multiple people to actually do and also requires certain aspects to have, like in Organic Void Shards and Organic Void Shards, three and 12 of them to even be able to do this mission so you actually have to play the game and grind a little bit to unlock different types of missions and also you do have a bunch of things to go for for example different reactors and different mods for your character um a lot of different weapons as well obviously these are all the same I've had some pretty terrible rng and yeah um as you can see you can also mod out your weapons uh which is pretty cool so you can make some crazy crazy builds and you also have presets you also have the ability to fully customize your character. For example, if I wanted a different skin for a body right here, I can choose pretty much anything and I can choose the colors that I want. So for example, if I like this outfit and I didn't really like the pink, well, I can make it, for example, green if I wanted to. Even though I absolutely hate green, but you can go ahead and do that. So yeah, basically an open world, well, more or less an open world, looter shooter, and there's also going to be dungeons and raids and all these really, really cool things that are going to be coming into the game. And uh, this is your chance to try it out. Now, um, there are also some bosses that you can do in the game. I've only did one. There is another big one that you can go ahead and complete once you are high enough. And um, there are also a ranking system in this game for your weapons, for your character, um, for pretty much everything that you need to get to a certain level to be able to do certain missions and certain raids and certain dungeons. So right now, I'm having actually a lot of fun playing this game. Um, I've tried out a few different characters. I will be trying out more and I will be trying out um, some different builds here, especially uh, with the different characters that you can go ahead and play. Certain characters require different weapons and it's pretty cool. So this game, like I said, has been seeing a bunch of hype lately and... Uh, Fair enough, it is actually a pretty fun game, especially with gaming recently being quite dry. Elden Ring is about um, just under a month away from being released, and uh, this game should be out in the next couple of months as well. And uh, they probably hold off to about Elden Ring is, uh, you know, uh, died down a little bit. Um, but anyway, uh, besides the point, yeah, this game will be dropping out around summer time, as they have mentioned before. Now, are you going to get this game? I will be, and uh, if you do want to go in and try it, this is a pretty good beta to kind of get your hands on pretty much a lot of things in the game. Now, the entire game isn't actually released, just a small portion of what you could go ahead and do. 
it gives you a chance to try out some of the characters, exactly what the game entails, and, you know, get a feel for it. So go ahead and try it out. I've been having a bunch of fun, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and keep playing as soon as I upload this video. And um, I'll see you guys in the game if you are going to be playing.